Hey there, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of 3B TV. I'm Brian. This is 3B Farm and Homestead here in beautiful upstate New York. And well, once again, it's snowing, but uh, that didn't stop me. I had to make a feed run tonight. And so I thought it would be kind of fun to show you what a month's worth of feed for 3B Farm and Homestead looks like. And actually, this really isn't a full month's worth of feed. This is just the feed that I buy from the local feed mill. Um, I can't get wheat from him. I'm buying rye from another farmer. And um, obviously, I'm not getting my hay from him. So, But let's open it up and I will show you what is in the back of this Subaru. So there we go. Uh, she is riding low. Uh, we've got, let's see, two bags of oats, four bags of laying mash, uh, six bags of starter and two bags of starter grower and two bags of my broiler mix uh, for my meat birds. So um, this here is basically a month's worth of feed minus the wheat, the rye, and the hay and then the other scraps that we give um, the pigs and so forth but I uh, thought it would be fun to kind of show you that I get this from a local mill um, a guy that uh, grows a lot of it not all of this is grown locally um, but most of this is grown by him and uh, other farms uh, around and so I've been very very happy with this we switched over to using this feed back the end uh, the end of 2017, so it might have been even in the fall, I started getting my hog feed and my oats from him, and then uh, I switched over to getting my layer um, from him, and uh, so now we're going to be using his chick starter grower and his broiler uh, as well. Been very, very happy with this. I uh, did it for a couple of reasons. First of all, I did it because I want to support local farmers. And um, so the opportunity that I have to support a guy that's growing this feed and uh, making it himself is something that's very appealing to me. Um, and secondly, I actually can get it cheaper than the uh, commercial stuff. So I really, really like that. Um, is it organic? No. It's not certified organic. But quite honestly, I don't focus on certified organic. I focus on local. I think I've shared that in other videos. Um, I don't have a whole lot of confidence in the um, quote unquote organic food supply. Um, I read somewhere, but depending on the grain, 50 to 70 percent of it is imported from places like China and Russia and Turkey and India. And I just don't have a lot of confidence in the organic labeling from those places to begin with, nor do I have a lot of trust that even if they did grow the produce in an organic manner or the in this case the grain in an organic manner that it actually was grown well and that it was grown um, yeah that it was just grown in, in, a, in a way that would be uh, what we would necessarily think of or, as organic so um, that's why I don't really focus on that I focus more on buying from local farmers supporting local farmers and um, so I'm voting with my wallet in that regard and uh, so far I've been very very happy with this guy's feed the um, layers I, I was a little worried when we switched from pellet uh, egg layer to this feed that we might see a drop off in egg production um, I did it during the winter when we had already seen a bit of a drop off but quite honestly I think we saw an increase in, in um, production from our layers after I switched to this so can't prove it but uh, overall been very happy with it and um, the rate of feed consumption has not been it's been about the same as it was with the pelleted feed so I'm very happy about that so anyhow I just figured I would show you what a roughly a month's supply of feed for 3B Farm and Homestead looks like and uh, thought you might find that interesting so now I've got to uh, unload a little over 600 pounds of feed um, so I will catch you later. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you've enjoyed this, like, share, subscribe. Um, we've got some awesome videos coming up this week. I actually didn't even plan on doing this one. I uh, just was kind of a spur of the moment thing, but um, we've got some videos on our chicks that should be arriving, some videos on um, our seed order that's uh, arriving, and a video on 
our growing operation that we're going to be putting together. So a lot of exciting things happening here on 3B Farm and Homestead. So you are not going to want to miss an episode. So click that bell so you uh, will be notified. And until next time, we'll catch you later.